There we go. Just testing audio. It sounds really low. I notice watching back, especially more recent streams, my audio is a bit screwed up. If I touch anything near this microphone, it, it's super loud. still hear it, but it's not too bad. All right, well, we'll see if people start coming in what they say. Is there any distortion? Like, let me know if you hear any weird crap. I do have the window open, so you might hear birds or something, but I also noticed that, or realized that my, because <laughs> I have a blue Yeti, and apparently you're supposed to talk sideways at it, not head on. And I would have the mic tilted towards me. And you're not supposed to do that. It kind of messes with stuff, apparently. Also, it was facing the wrong way. So there's different modes you can use for the Blue Yeti. Some for, like, if you're in a group and it needs to be kind of universal all the way around. Um... If you're doing like an interview with two people, it needs to be side to side, stuff like that. So I have the one that's for podcasts or one person speaking. But yeah, it has to be facing the right way. And it wasn't. So a lot of stuff. I was also trying to move it, but I don't know that that's going to be possible because of the way that my little boom sticky thing. I don't know what the hell it's called, but stand essentially the way it like works. It's just not going to be able to mount where I want it to. Anyway, um, let me share this real quick on Twitter. I am on Twitter. I don't really use it a whole lot. I'm not one of those people that likes to broadcast everything I do and everything I think. On Twitter anyway. <laughs> Or Facebook or anything like that. If I have something to say, I will usually do it, you know, on camera. Anyway, um, I want to pop on here. I took the day off. And I kind of touched on it yesterday on the Vixens. And I don't remember if I've brought it up before. But uh, Momo is not doing too good. And I know there's at least a fair amount of people that, you know, have kind of like watched her grow and all that kind of stuff because I've been doing YouTube for I'd say six or seven years not consistently like I mean as you can tell not consistent at one point I was but these days not so much but still you know it's a long period of time especially you have to follow a person if you know people have been following me that long it's whatever Anyway, the point is that some people may care about, you know, how she's doing or just her in general. So about a year ago, I ended up taking her to the vet. And mind you, she's been really healthy pretty much all along that I've had her. I've only had to take her in the vet outside of this situation like one other time. And it was very minor. It was because she was um, itching or... I don't know. She had like bald spots near her ears and it turns out it was just allergies, but it's the only other time I've had to take her to the vet. Um, but she is old. She was born in 07, so she'll be 14 in like a month or two. So it's not out of, I don't want to say out of the ordinary. It's not unexpected, I guess. It's just, it did kind of come out of nowhere. Because like, like I said, for the longest time, she never had really health issues or anything like that. But she kept, um, I'll try to not be as graphic as possible. <laughs> but essentially, because she couldn't keep food down. And it was a becoming more and more consistent. So I ended up taking her to the vet. And they did, I don't know if it was an ultrasound or an x-ray, but whatever they did, it can look at your bones as well as your organs. 
to see exactly what was wrong. They wanted to make sure there was nothing blocking her digestive system, um, things of that nature. And the only thing they saw was gas and like some residual food, which indicated that there wasn't necessarily a blockage, but her stomach wasn't allowing food to pass the way it's supposed to. And they did blood work as well. And it indicated that she had high levels in a couple different kidney area level. Like, I don't remember exactly. There's like a bunch of different things they test for to check your kidney health or whatever. And she tested high on a couple of them. So they found out that, you know, she had kidney disease, which is very common in cats. Because um, a lot of them don't get the water that they need. Plus, they're, if they're eating dry food, which she was... Um, that's another thing that it just, I don't know, their kidneys are one of the things that go. Um, so did a couple different things, including switching her to wet food only, which I would have done wet food sooner, but like there's conflicting things about everything you look at online. And it's like some of them say that, you know, you're not supposed to have your cat on wet food because uh, it makes their teeth erode because they need something hard to keep their teeth healthy or whatever. But then there's other ones that's, you know, say the dry food's not good because it's, you know, dry and they need, you know, wetness. <laughs> so I don't know. But she's went on the wet food and she was doing better. Like she was on, she's been on two different medications, one of which seemed to be helping because her kidney levels started going back into the normal range outside of the one. Um, but... The cats are playing. Uh, she's, I don't know if it's like a residual effect of the issue she was having before or if it's an entirely different issue, but she's having the issue of not being able to keep food down again. And it's probably, I'd say the worst it's been. So, you know, she's doing it every day, which obviously is not good. So I do have to take her back into the vet again because they put her on a different medication. It was supposed to settle her stomach, but it actually seemed to make it worse. If not, you know, didn't really help at all. So she stopped taking that. Plus it was, she hated taking it. Like it was, cause it was, um, oral, like a liquid. So I had to like feed her with it with the syringe and she hated it. But, um, <clears throat> didn't really seem to be helping and. Yeah, so they're going to do something else today, but I had the realistic talk with the vet finally. I was like, you know, if things don't improve, like, realistically, what are we looking at? Because she's, again, older. She's 14 or about to be 14. And he was like, well, you know, we can try to do what we can, but it might be at that point where they just need to, you know, put her down. But obviously I want to avoid that. Um, but at the same time, her throwing up every day can't be pleasant for her. And I imagine over time with, if this continues, she's going to continue because she's lost a little bit of weight, which she was a little thick to begin with. So she could have lost, you know, stand to lose a couple pounds, but the rate and the way that she's losing it is not good. Um, I'm about to ban you. I don't know who you are. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> chill. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking at. If, if it doesn't improve, you know, I'm going to do what, everything that I can, but it just, it's not good for either of us because it's stressing me out and probably stressing her out. The thing that makes it difficult for me is that outside of that issue, she acts normal. Like she's up in her perch right now. Looking out the window, looking at the birds. She looks perfectly fine. I can actually show you if you'd like. Um, she was just playing with Blue a couple minutes ago. Um, she can get up on things fine. Like her perch is about mm, four feet, foot tall. So, I mean, she can jump up on things. She walks around fine. I mean, she's a little slower than she used to because she does have arthritis as well a little bit in her hip area. But outside of, you know, just the throwing up, she's fine. And that's what makes it difficult. Because, like, 
some of these animals you look at them and they just look dead inside there's no life left in them and at that point i feel like it's time to you know let the animal go as sucky as that is um but she's not at that point so it it, it does make it difficult but we'll see momo she's also responsive like she knows her name all of that kind of stuff right come here I wasn't calling you, Blue. Come here. Oh. I don't know if you can tell if she's gotten any smaller from your side, but I don't know. Picking her up, I can definitely feel it. Um, not to the point where it's horribly concerning, but it's at the point where if it continues, obviously it will be. But, I mean, you look at her... She doesn't look like, you know, the, the droopy eye type thing you see in some of these cats, you know? She just looks normal. She still purrs, she still sleeps next to me. All that kind of stuff, so... <sighs> I don't know. So that's what I've been dealing with. Um, it's gotten worse over the last, I'd say, a month. Because the, the weird thing is she was doing better. Like, her levels were doing better. She wasn't, you know, throwing up as much. But all of a sudden, the last couple weeks, it's gotten worse again. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a different issue or what. But, again, taking her back to the vet today. And I don't, I don't know what time limit I'm going to put on it. But... I don't want her to suffer so yeah anyway <laughs> I want to let you guys know what was going on um I also went thrifting I don't know if anyone cares I feel like it's more of a chick thing that likes that people like you know thrift hauls and shit but I did go thrifting um I went on a Monday because I figured everyone would be at work and it would be dead or at least a little bit less um busy and yeah <laughs> the checkout line was halfway wrapped around the store it was ridiculous it was at the point where um I almost wanted to leave but uh I'm trying to change the subject because it's really like bumming me out um but yeah I went thrifting <laughs> did not expect <laughs> that to happen. I think it's at the point where I'm kind of like suppressing a lot. So I think, I don't know if that's what that was. But um, yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's hard because um, she's the first pet that I have that was my pet, you know? <sighs> if I can't get this under control, I'm going to be wrapping it up. But um, I've had her for a long time and this would be the first time I would have to let alone deal with my own pet, you know? But, like, if I'm the one that has to actually do it, <laughs> you know? And I don't know which, which is which is worse, you know? Waking up one day and, and her not being here, you know? Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought Buskino was the name, and then he kept saying with that golden glow, and I'm like, why does he keep saying that? 
I just realized it's part of his name. <laughs> Stupid. I apologize. I'm not quite here. Another side effect of this whole situation is I have not been sleeping well. Like, even worse than normal. And I already sleep pretty shitty. <laughs> like, today is my day off. Um, I normally don't even get up until about, like, two hours ago. So, like, around 10, 11. I was up at 6, if not even a little bit earlier than that. Mind you, I didn't go to bed until, like... 1 or 2 a.m. So, I've not been sleeping well. So my brain brain is just kind of um messed up. <laughs> That's why I thought he was spamming her. He or she, I can't really tell. The little avatar is so small. That's why I thought she was like trolling or something. Because they kept saying <laughs> it's part of their name. So dumb. Sorry about that. <clears throat> But yeah, you know, I've dealt with things before, like with like my grandma's pets or like the family pet, but like Momo would be the first one that's like my cat, the one that I picked out, that I've taken care of, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm okay now as long as we change the subject because I, I don't like crying in front of people. It's so awkward. Um... I did get out of the house today, though, because I figured I was awake. I kind of didn't want to go out, but at the same time, it's like, eh. Getting out was, you know, it was, it's nice. And it's nice outside. It's like 60-something. I want to say 65. 63. Close enough. And it's supposed to snow the day after tomorrow. Craziness. <clears throat> Yeah, we've always had pets growing up, like always. We always had at least one dog and usually one cat, at least. Um, so it's not like I haven't gone through something like that before, but I feel like this will be very different for me. Um, but again, I'm <laughs> starting to tear up again. But I mean, she's still playing and stuff, so I mean, ideally... I would like to, you know, if we could just get this one thing under control or at least figure out what it is because I don't even know what, we don't really know what's causing it. That would be good. But if it's time, it's time. It's 14 years. You know, I'm not going to make her suffer just for my sake, you know. <clears throat> But I went thrifting. I know I said that, like, I, I was going to let you guys choose if you wanted to see it. I guess this would be the time to click out if you don't. I want to show it anyway. I, I need to talk about something positive. So, the reason it was so packed today, thrifting, apparently there was a half-off everything sale. I didn't know about that. Had I known about that, I probably would have gotten more. But, uh, yeah, part of the reason why it was so packed. But I got some flannel. I really like flannel and plaid. Pretty much anything is stripe. I like stripes. But yeah, I got this flannel shirt. It's just a short sleeve, lightweight plaid type shirt. Um, it was like a... It was already pretty cheap. Hmm. It was like three... 325 something like that. So I got that. <laughs> you probably can't even see it. And I got a tank top. I like the color. Like an electric yellow color. It was only like a dollar twenty something because it was half off. These I just you wear around the house or the bed. So I don't like to be in heavy clothes when I sleep. And then another tank top I got for a dollar something. It's a nice pink. I feel like I have like a highlighter fixation because you have your pink highlighter here, your yellow kind of highlighter here. So apparently, uh, <clears throat> I was digging that today. Uh, I got this dress. I like the colors in it, and it's got a hood and a plunging neckline. I thought that was kind of cute. It's very long and very flowy, 
and lightweight. And this was half of 549, whatever that is. I don't feel like doing math. So like two, 225, something like that. Long dress. Then I got another tank top. Nothing super, you know, whatever. It's a dollar something, dollar 25. I got these pants, these like kind of like workout <laughs> pants that, you know, I don't work out. I probably, you know, I should, but probably wear them to bowling and stuff like that because I still do go bowling and I went bowling Saturday with my dad. It was pretty nice. I got a 142 both games, the exact same score, which for me is good because my average, uh, the lowest my average was this year was like a 109 because I've actually was doing shittier <laughs> and then it got a little bit better towards the end but even then my average was only still like one one in the teens so 119 116 something like that anyway i got this dress again i like stripes kind of candy cane looking it's kind of short i feel like it might be too short but i could either wear it as like a long top with like leggings underneath or just wear it to bed and it was half of 849. And then I got this again plaid flannel whatever shirt. And it was half of 849. It's very lightweight. I'd probably have to wear a tank top or something over it, but these type of shirts I just wear them open with a tank top underneath anyway. So yeah, that was my haul. Like I said, if I would have known everything was half off I would have probably gotten more but realistically I don't really need more clothes but I just wanted to get out of the house like I've haven't gone shopping in a store outside of like grocery shopping for about a year and a half if not longer because before you know the the pandy <laughs> that's what some people are calling it the pandy um, I hadn't gone shopping in a bit because I typically don't go out much during the winter because our winters could be pretty shitty and I don't like driving in snow or ice. So, yeah, I haven't gone, um, non-essential shopping, I guess you could say, in a long time. Not that that's a good habit because I do have this habit of spending money when I'm depressed or bored. <laughs> um, but at least if I'm going physically to the store at least I'm getting out of the house so there's that too and then um, Momo has her vet appointment in a couple hours and tomorrow or no tonight is noted I'll be on noted so you can check me out at DIY or die dot, or dot com <laughs> DIY or die on YouTube um, at I think it's 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time now they changed the time so uh, I'll be on there we'll be talking about bread should be interesting I took tomorrow off as well because I got a house sit for a friend and I figured I don't know it was just it was a good thing I took today and tomorrow off because the vet ended up happening today. There must be like a major delay as I am using OBS, but the thing about OBS is the delays. Something I'm not used to. Cause at least with Google, like just the integrated thingy, there's really not much delay, but I do like the way it looks using OBS. Plus there's like, I can do, like different, I can show you different screens if I need to, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I use it. Hello, Mr. Miles. Haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, while well, I remember, I tried the new Flavora energy drink. And I don't know if any of you have gotten your hands on the new flavors because, again, they're new. It has, I well, first off, I like it. Secondly, I don't know if I get energy drink per se. It smells spot on energy drink. I'm not really sure which one to be honest. 
to me, I get like a Red Bull, but I've heard other people say that it tastes like or smells like the Green Monster, but I haven't had a Green Monster in forever because I drink the, the Ultras, the sugar-free ones. Um, it definitely smells like an energy drink, but when I vape it, it smells like, or it tastes like candy roll, Flavor candy roll. But I'm not mad at that because I love that flavor. It's one of my fla favorite flavors, period. So I'm not mad at it. But it definitely has, there's like a note in it that is the same note that I get from Flavora Candy Roll. And that's pretty much all I can taste. I can't really taste any kind of energy drink flavor to personally. But like I said, I ain't mad at it. So I have that one. And I used it. Um, I don't know if I ever did 1% with it. But I did half a percent. And it was very strong. So I was like, okay, well, candy roll I have to use really low. So maybe that's the same situation with this. I got to use it really low. So I used it at a quarter of a percent, which is what I used flanny, or candy roll at. And it didn't really change a whole lot. So I don't know. There's some note in those two flavors. That that's all I get from it but I don't mind it because I love the notes so. <laughs> I'm guessing it's whatever they use to have well I was, I was thinking maybe it was what they used to make it like effervescent but I don't know that candy roll would necessarily need to be effervescent so maybe it's not that maybe it's whatever they use to sweeten it or maybe it's like a sweet tart type flavor. I don't really know. Blue. Hi, Momo. Hi. You're on camera. She don't care. She's sniffing the boxes. <laughs> So I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else. I don't know if I've tried any of the other Flavoras yet. I tried the one of the other mangoes in a mix with something, so I can't really tell you anything about it because it was with other stuff. <clears throat> Something that keeps reflecting into my window. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, my cats, they, I mean, it's just like a cat thing. They like boxes, cardboard boxes. Oh my god. Yeah, this is um, a drip tip that Jennifer Jarvis's husband made. He has a lathe or whatever it's called, the spinny thing, and he can make his own stuff. He makes a whole bunch of crazy shapes and whatnot. I have another one too. It's even longer. <laughs> I like it because number one, it just it's funny to me. But number two, it's it gives you a lot of distance between you and the RDA. So like, I'll never get spit back. <laughs> I'll never have like, because like I like a cooler vape anyway. So it'll never be too hot. Not that I turn my stuff up enough for it to get hot, but I like it. <clears throat> Ever since she gave me these, I don't think I've used anything else. Hello, Frank. Yeah, if you like your vape hot, it probably wouldn't be good. But I don't, so it works for me. Like, every time I have my dad try something, like, I had him try that cactus apple, the Flavora cactus apple, which, update, it still tastes like pennies to me. I have found that if you dilute it enough, I can taste other components in it, but it still has a very copper 
note to it that it just it didn't go away. But the ironic thing is I had my dad try it and he don't get any of that. He actually likes whatever he's tasting. So it's interesting. Some people get the note, like Fresh and I both get that note. I don't know if anybody else has gotten it. But I don't know. It's a shame because the flavor outside of the copper <laughs> is good. But it, it it's too prominent. Like what whatever it is, it just I wouldn't be able to bury it, I don't think. I might have to try it someday, but I don't know what even what I would mix it with. Because it's kind of an odd flavor, cactus apple. Like, what do you pair with that? Maybe citrus soda or something? I don't know. Yeah, the flavor itself, though, minus the copper, is good. It tastes like... I got mostly apple from it. I'm not sure what cactus tastes like. Kind of aloe Maybe. Like, fleshy. But... Yeah, the copper note in it is stands up too much to me. Hello, ch chili dog. <laughs> no, I don't. Like, you know, like, when your coil starts fucking up and you could start to taste the metal in the coil? It's almost like that. Or if you're sensitive to nickel, like I can't do nichrome, it kind of has that thing going on. It's very metallic, but it's not the coil because I tested everything else on it before and after that flavor, the same coil, and I didn't get that note with anything else. <sighs> Here's the other girl. She's very big. Yeah. Not that you could tell from her meow. Her meow makes her sound like she could have, you know, she would be a kitten. Right? You want to say hi? No? Um, yeah, she's a Maine Coon ragdoll and a bunch of other stuff, but that's like the main things that she is, which are both big cats. Yeah. But as far as like her, how thick she looks, she's actually not as thick as she looks. It's just a lot of hair. <laughs> Mop. <laughs> um, anyway, the coil I was using is, um, I always use uh, Canthal. I can do stainless steel, but that's it. Like I can't do nichrome or any of the other stuff. Though I haven't tried t titanium. So I can attest to that but in real life I can't wear anything with nickel in it like I was wearing um because like usually I wear t-shirts like this so like whatever I'm wearing like pendant wise it doesn't touch my skin but there was a couple of days that I wasn't because I think it was just hot or whatever and I have this little like a crescent moon pendant and it's just you know fake metal of some sort and I had out I don't know if I still have a rash, but I had a big old rash just from it laying against my skin, so I can't do anything nickel. <sighs> I don't know. I I've been vaping a long time. We're talking 2010 to 2011, around there. Um, that's all we really had back then was <laughs> Canthal. I mean, that was the main thing everyone was using. So I think I just got stuck in that time frame like I still vape pretty low voltage wattage compared to most people um, I like a cooler vape because that's pretty much what was out back then I don't know I, I just got used to it and stayed that way but I use the they changed their name they used to be lightning vapes or something like that but they're like optimum wire or something now but I always use their coils. They're just Clapton's. I use two different kinds and I don't remember which. I think it's like 36 over 26 or something like that. I don't remember. But it's a dual core 
and then it's wrapped in something. I know it's very, you know, descriptive. I don't use temp control. I I tried it a couple, you know, back in the day. And I just didn't like it. I couldn't get it at a good point cuz the thing is, is I feel like temp control is not good for people that vape low temperature. Like low, like it's not, like a cooler vape. I feel like that's good for someone that vapes warm to hot. Because the problem is, is like it would try to ramp up. But then to get it to a point where it was cool enough for me to enjoy it. Without, you know, getting too hot or whatever. Like it couldn't sustain that level because it was just too low. It's not that I care about what's popular. It's more so that I just got used to that, the way that it feels. And it's just what I like. I've tried going like, you know, higher wattage, whatever. It just, I don't like the hot vape. Plus I vape mainly fruits, lighter type profiles. And those don't really, in my opinion, taste very good when they're hot. Oh, and I think I have come to the conclusion I do not like black currant. Because Winstead made me a mix for one of the fundraisers that Fresh did. I don't remember which. Because honestly, he does so many. <laughs> I just, I don't remember. But I paid for like a mix and Winstead happened to be on. So I was like, oh, sure, I'll torture her. She can mix something for me. Plus, she, I know that she at least mixes fruits sometimes. So I asked her to make me a candy. And she did... And I don't know why, because like she's not the only one that's done it. There's a couple different people that have mixed something with black currant in it. And it's like, I don't even remember ever saying I like black currant. But it turns out I don't. <laughs> I've had enough black currant flavorings to determine I don't like it, at least not in a vape. For some reason I get, you know, like some people are very sensitive to grape. And a lot of grape flavors come across as medicinal. That's what I get from black currant. Uh, this specific one was SSA black currant, but Flavor Art black currant is the same. The only one that I don't seem to be too offended by is Capella sweet currant, which I don't even think is the same thing because I think it's like the red type currants because there's like a red one and there's a black one. Um, but any kind of black currant that I've tried in a vape, I haven't liked, which is unfortunate because like the other flavors that were going on in there, because she had Flavora red raspberry. SSA hard candy, SSA black currant, and like one or two other things. And everything else tasted okay, but I couldn't get past that black currant flavor. I And the weird thing is I used to like, I know I specifically used to like flavor art black currant. But I think that was back when I was vaping on tanks. Because when I switched from a tank to an RDA, just like solely, you know, dripping... You know, my flavors have changed a little bit, like my preferences, because I can taste more things, which is good and bad. Like I get a lot of off notes that I wasn't getting when I would use tanks or way back in the day, cardamizers, because I never used to have a problem with uh, peaches either until I started vaping on the more advanced um, atomizers. Then I, all I get is a harshness to it. Well, cherries will go medicinal real quick anyway, especially certain ones. But man, those SSA cherries, both of them that I tried are good. Yeah, the aromamizer is good. I, I remember specifically liking that one. I think I still have it. 
I'm not saying the flavor. I'm talking like old school tanks. When I talk about like old, I'm talking pro tank. Like the shit that you, if you were to buy the the pre-built atomizers, they'd still have silica in them. I'm talking about those type of tanks. And those type of tanks, they are very, mm, they're favorable to flavors. They kind of, um, they mute a lot of off notes, I guess. <clears throat> What are you doing? No, you're not going up there. See, I don't like Mullenberry's cherry. I got it because um, either somebody said it was good or for a specific recipe. I don't like them. I get that. It's like a bitter... I don't know. It's, it's so hard to describe these off notes to people. But it's like this... Mm. I always described it as chemical tasting. And then, you know, smart ass people were like, well, everything's a chemical. And it's like, come on, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like when things taste or like artificial, like it tastes very artificial. It's like, yeah, all, most of these flavors are artificial. Unless they're naturally extracted, they're going to be artificial. But you can, you know what I mean? When it just, it tastes fake. <laughs> Like, it just tastes very clearly fake, and then there's, like, this note in it. It's just, like, bitter and unpleasant. I don't know. That doesn't sound pleasant to me, Sam. <laughs> I don't like vaping raisins. I don't know. Maybe I do. I've only tried maybe one raisin flavor. I don't even remember who it's by, and it wasn't good. I'm not going to stay out much longer because at this point I'm just rambling. I didn't really have a whole lot of um, direction for this. I just figured I had the day off and I wanted to let you guys know about Momo just in case my decision has to be made soon. And one of these days I want to show you Robert. Robert, he is... um. He's big. <laughs> like he's getting to the point where I need to move him because he's just like vining across the... Because I have him in the other room because this room does not get good sunlight at all. So I put him up there in that front window and off to the side because he likes sunlight but not direct sunlight. So right where I have him is like the perfect place for him because he's been thriving ever since... Um, I moved him there. Whereas before, for the longest time, he doesn't he wasn't really growing. And for the type of plant he is, he's supposed to vine and he never vined. Um by Bauskino. But yeah, I've had Robert for I was like, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I get like, um, what do you even call it? Nostalgic or I don't know if that's the right word. But you know, among those lines where like, I want to like look at things for, uh, by Met. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name. I apologize. Um... I like want to go like the, the memory lane, down the memory lane or whatever. And I got like down this rabbit hole of watching like old fresh episodes where I was on them. Like way back before the his Saturday, Saturday mixing show was even a thing. And I came across something about Robert. And I was like, holy crap, like I've had him that long. I can't believe he's lived that long. <laughs> yeah, if... If y'all, if like newer people don't know like what I'm referring to, um, there is, I still have the video up on my channel. It's titled something about wanted a massage, got a plant instead. So 
my friend Allie, uh, pretty much the only friend I have, like, in, you know, locally, uh, she wanted to take me out to a massage place because I had never gotten a massage before. And she found a good deal on Groupon. And I don't think she had ever had a massage either. So we went together. And because the Groupon, she was booked really, like, heavily. And apparently she double booked and didn't know. So the first, like, red flag for me was when I went there. It wasn't, like, an traditional like massage location it was in an office building like a tall office building that looks like it would be like a doctor's office type thing or like a bunch of just regular offices doing like clerical work type stuff so that was like the first weird thing to me so then I get to where it's supposed to be like the room number everything it had her name on the door it was a straight up psychologist's office so I get in and I'm like, okay, I don't even know, like, because there's nowhere to sign in or anything like that. So I was like, okay, uh, I guess I'll just sit here. And like the door with her name on it was closed with a little do not disturbed sign on the, on the door handle. So I was like, okay. So like we waited and waited and waited and waited. Finally, I was like, okay, I, I'm not sitting around here because like if we're not going to get this done today, I don't want to waste any more of our time because it was already a drive to get out there. And then all the time we were waiting there on top of it. So finally I just like lightly tap on the door. She like pokes her hat out. And she's like, yes. <laughs> and I was like, uh, we had an appointment today. And she's like, for massage? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Because I think she thought maybe I was supposed to get for, like, with the psychologist or something. I don't know. And she's like, oh, hold on. So then there was like a little bit of like commotion or whatever. She finally comes out and then we figure out that we were double booked or whatever so we ended up having to reschedule and she felt so bad and kept like throwing in extra things she's like okay I feel so bad it was for my birthday blah 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 blah. I'll give you a free massage and I'm like okay and she's like we're talking and talking and then she felt bad so she gave me this little goodie bag and then she still still felt bad so she kept giving me more and more stuff and then finally as we were about to leave she asked me if I like plants and I was like yeah you know I like plants whatever and she goes to, like, the nearest table, takes one of the plants from on top, and hands it to me. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank you, you know? So I'm trying not to bust out laughing, because this lady, she's the sweetest lady ever. She's, I've gone back several times since then. Um, she's Puerto Rican, and I'm pretty sure she was, like, born there and migrated over here, you know, later in life so her main language and everything is you know Spanish so there's kind of like a little bit of like a cultural barrier type thing so like I didn't want to be rude and like laugh but it was so hilarious to me that she just takes this random plant from on top of the table and just hands it to me so now I'm walking through this like office building with this random ass plant in my hand <laughs> my friend next to me is like cracking up and then we, and the, it's so quiet because it's, it's like a Saturday. So like no one else is there except her. So like we're walking down this empty hallway, the, her door is still open. So if we like laughed or said anything, she'd be able to hear it. So like, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm like waiting on the elevator and it's on the sixth floor and it's an older building. So it took forever to get there. And we're like, just trying so hard not to laugh. She's crying because she's holding it back so hard. But anyway, that's how I got the plant. And I've never had a plant before, uh, so it was a very, it's a, it was a struggle. Because, like I said, for the longest time, he wasn't growing. Like, he was alive, but, like, probably barely. Um, well, I could, I, I imagine. I could just, I have her number. I could actually, actually, I, I might do that. Just send her a picture of it. But, um... I still go to her. I just haven't been in a few months. Because, again, winter. I don't really go anywhere. And then with, you know, the pandy. I think I'd only been there once or twice since the pandy. Yeah. Like, in the fall. Definitely once, maybe twice. But I do need to go back because my back is killing me. Not really as much right now, but just in general. Plus, it, she does a deep tissue massage and it's something that you need to keep doing. If you do it on and off, it, it's not as beneficial and it's painful. Like the first time you go back after having, having, haven't had it in a while. 
it's a uh, I keep looking out the window I'm sorry I'm like really like I said out of it but anyway I need to go back is the point but yeah I think I'm gonna get out of here um I'll let you guys know one way or another if anything comes of this Momo situation and uh I'm still trying to be optimistic it's like I said every in every other area she's fine it's just we need to get a hold of this um digestion situation I've also switched her food again um to a better food because for the longest time all she would eat is fancy feast which is not the greatest food in the world but it was the only thing she would eat she wouldn't because she's eaten blue buffalo pretty much all her life and it's a really expensive pretty high quality food you know even the vet said that's you know what he would recommend either that or um there's like another brand I don't remember but she wasn't even eating that so I had to feed her what she would eat you know what I mean but it seems like that's not working anymore but I found this stuff and I think this is still open but um it's still fancy feast but it's got like real meat in it like you can see on the side like it's real like it looks a lot better than the shit that she was eating the shit she was eating before it felt rubbery and I never really paid it too much attention to the texture of it just the fact that she was eating it but the actual meat particles they feel like mushy because you know it's probably overly processed crap so uh, this is actual shreds of chicken um, it has no byproducts or fillers in it I wish I would have known about this sooner because I know they have the appetizers which are also kind of among those lines but the appetizers are not meant to be like food they're more of a treat so I didn't know that they had stuff like this but it's got like all the vitamins and stuff that a regular can of cat food would have it's just um, a little bougier and that seems to be better for her like she's digesting that better so maybe that in conjunction of conjunction with whatever they do today and damn it I forgot to turn the damn top chat off so I might be missing a bunch of comments. If I missed a prompt uh, comment, I apologize. YouTube did this stupid thing where they have top chat and live chat and you have to select one and I didn't. So it was on top chat only, which I hate. You hungry? See, she hears me talking about food and she's hungry. Yeah? Want this? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, feed me. Um, I've looked into making food. It's not as easy as just cooking chicken or whatever. Because there's a lot of things that they need in addition to just... Because like in the wilderness, they'd be eating the entire um, bird or whatever. So including the bones, their organs, stuff like that. It's too involved. Like, if it comes down to that, I might ask the doctor about it. But I feel like if that was, like, an option, he would have brought it up already. Because he knows he, he, I've been struggling with, you know, feeding her. So you'd think if that was something that would be good to do. Plus, there's a lot of debate on, like, what you need to add, what you don't need to add. Whether you do raw or cooked, which I would do cooked. I'm not comfortable giving her raw, and I don't think it would be beneficial at this stage in her life to switch her to something that like that um but it's a lot more involved than just cooking meat and stuff and even when I've given her like if I eat because I, I don't eat chicken but I eat fish on occasion or shrimp um that doesn't go well with her either because you have to like you'd ideally want something you know as fresh as possible without any kind of um preservatives and stuff like that but yeah like it's <laughs> it's very involved like i've looked into it and uh very time consuming very expensive especially because i don't eat meat so it's not like i have stuff you know already um 
and then again you'd have to get like the bones you have to dry them out or you have to use uh, you can use eggshells and like bake the eggshells because there's, there's something in the bones or the eggshells that the cat needs i forget what it's called i wish there were just um like have an additive you can add to something like kind of like a multivitamin for cats that you could just add whatever they need because there's certain things that they need and then they also need like fish oil and like all these random other stuff and i just when it gets to stuff like that <coughs> where it's like they need this 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 it makes me nervous because it's like at least in a in the canned food they already know what they're doing to an extent I feel like I'd fuck it up and just, I don't know, like it just makes me uncomfortable. But you'd think they just have like something that you could buy, like either on a powder or a liquid where you could just add it to, you know, a base of meat or whatever and feed your cat that. Like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, taurine, calcium, a bunch of other stuff. There's actually a lot of, there's a lot more than that. <clears throat> I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's a lot. Um, but yeah, yeah, my, my neighborhood has gone down. Like I kept hearing what I thought was gunshots, but I kept telling myself, no, it's just like fireworks or whatever. No, they're fucking gunshots. Cause I, I, <laughs> I've since unjoined the group, but I joined a group. Um, it's called like Nate next door or something like that. It's basically like a Facebook kind of for your local, wherever you live. I had to leave because it was just so negative and there's just nothing but negativity. Either people bitching about something or talking about how our neighborhood's ghetto now and there's gunshots here, gunshots there. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> but yeah, apparently um, a lot of the pops that I've been hearing are gunshots. Yeah, this area has been gone downhill for a while now. Pretty much ever since they opened up the new high school. Well, it's not very new anymore about like 10 or so years ago uh it brought in like all of the like neighboring people from cleveland because cleveland public schools are terrible uh garfield at least at the time wasn't too bad um so them building that new school brought in a lot of people from like neighboring cities which weren't as good like a little bit you know sketchy um they brought them here and ever since then it's just been downhill from there but yeah, a lot of shooting, like broad daylight too. Apparently, according to the Facebook thingy next door post, um, someone was outside and they just came shooting and it shot up their whole like car and everything. I don't think anyone was hurt, but the fact that they're doing that in broad daylight and shot up their car, like, mm, sketch. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, if I have any updates, I'll let you know one way or another, whether it be on Vixens or otherwise. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Be safe. And uh, yeah. <laughs>